Cloisonné is a form of enameling technique which consists of soldering a fine bent metallic strip to a metal surface to the outline of a design and filling the resulting cellular space called cloisonné in French partitions or compartments with vitreous enamel paste. The object then is fired, ground smooth and polished. Sometimes metal wire is used in place of the usual gold, brass, silver or copper strips. Earliest examples of cloisonné are Marcinian rings of the 13th century BCE. In the Byzantine Empire, cloisonné was popular during the 10th to the 12th century. In China, cloisonné was produced during the Ming and Qing dynasties. In Japan, it was especially popular during the Tokugawa and the Meiji periods. There are two Rio-type dragons on the body of the tripod. They are serpentine-type creature, unlike the western dragons, without wings, however with four legs, and they are floating on a crimson-red background, typical for the Meiji period cloisonné. The Japanese dragon has three toes, in contrast to the four-toed Chinese dragon and the five-toed Chinese imperial dragon. I am not sure about the antlers or horns. It seems that the Chinese dragons mainly have antlers and the Japanese either antlers or horns. There is a crack in the red enamel near one of the dragon feet, probably due to a direct impact. It was decided not to infiltrate the crack with resin since it was stable and the infiltration would be not reversible. It is beautiful how the silver strips separating the various colored enamels reflect in the light. I'm surprised that they did not tarnish over the past hundred years. The precision of the work is admirable. There is some major damage to one of the dragon heads. The old restoration has cracked and disintegrated, and the paint has discolored. The missing enamel was replaced with plaster and then painted what seems to be oil-based paint. The plaster did not bond with the enamel base and shrank over the decades. The old restoration had to be completely removed and substituted with a modern resin and filler. One of the three feet was dented. The enamel is missing and the copper sheet covering the bottom of the foot is also absent. Due to the dent in the bottom of the tripod, the enamel has lifted off the copper substrate and there is a gap at the edge of the remaining enamel. There is also extensive cracking in the adjacent enamel due to the forceful impact that the foot received in the past. The pommel of the lid was also damaged and the original enamel is missing. The white residue are the remnants of the plaster used in the previous restoration. There is also cracking of the enamel and a deep indent from an impact that caused the initial damage. The old restoration had to be removed and the substrate thoroughly solvent cleaned to allow the new filler to adhere properly to the metal. The loose enamel was consolidated with a clear solvent soluble resin. The missing enamel was filled with a mineral filler and solvent soluble clear resin. It was slightly overfilled to allow shaping. The filler is softer than the enamel to allow the final form to be at the exactly the same height as the original enamel without damaging the original material. The synthetic mineral filler is completely solvent soluble and can be removed easily in the future if needed. 
After leveling, the surface of the fill is perfectly smooth and ready to receive the final paint coating. The paint used is light fast and solvent based. The color was matched as closely as possible to the original background color. In the previous restoration, the decoration was mimicked to look like the original. During this conservation it was decided to not imitate the artist. The red paint simulated the original red enamel well enough to complete the overall appearance of the tripod without having to imitate the original artist's work. This kind of conservation treatment has several advantages. The materials are stable and museum grade. The treatment is almost completely reversible. And in case the client wishes to sell the piece in the future, the buyer cannot be deceived since the integrated areas are obvious.